And we finally got a hold to one of them. The SM5, uh, F570. We're doing an unboxing today. Just fresh in off the pallet. So. So, uh, come on a crate when you get it. We're going to do an unboxing, but we're going to get this in and get, uh, do the rest of it. All right, we're back with another video. This time we'll be doing the, um, unboxing of the Epson Sure Color SC F570. Um, we picked this up today. I think it was around um, $26.95. It's kind of hard to get a hold to them right now because I think they're on back order or something like that, but uh, we ran across one. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to unbox this thing and um, show y'all what's in the box, and uh, we're going to get started. It came on a crate, so... Uh, It'll take up quite a bit of space. And it's also heavy, so uh, if you don't have anybody to help you move it, they um, suggest that you have two people help you lift it up because it's really heavy. And uh, what they give you is uh, two sets of ink. So they have your CMYK, all your, uh, your four colors. Your black, yellow, magenta, and cyan. Two of those each. These are cheaper than um cheaper than you know other inks or whatnot. If you buy their brand, but if you use other brands of ink, they it avoid the warranty on it. So you want to use these inks because they will avoid the warranty. They find out you use something different, but it's so cheap, you wouldn't need to order any other ink. So. You might want to just go ahead and go with the, the factory stuff. Here's one set of ink. And another. So, this is uh, And then it also comes with um, a maintenance box. I think that there's one already in there. And I think this is the second one that they give you. So, it's two of those. And, uh, of course, your manual, you get a, I don't know, some this kind of... CD. Yeah. Yeah, this is the Epson Edge print. Um, I think it's a program. Come with the power cord, and, of course, your manual. taped up good. So. And that, um, it yeah. looks like the um, that the tray that you put in the back to hold the uh, paper or whatnot. Paper tray. Uh, or something like that. For I, sheets. We'll figure that out. Yeah. Of course, they got a whole bunch of tape and um, extra stuff going on here to protect it. So, then it comes with paper. This is 17 inch by 100, I guess that's yards. Uh, yeah, 100 feet, 100 feet. 100 feet. Yeah. Um, okay. 24 inch row. 24 I think. inch. And it's another 17 inch, I believe. Got a digital touch screen, I think that's what this is on the front. Yep. Well, we'll get that. And of course, on here tells you the diagram that shows you do not lift this up one person, two people on each side to lift up. Got a 
I can move all the tape on it. And this is another diagram that shows you, um, I guess, how to fill the ink up. You got a ton of tape on it. This is a paper tray of some kind. We'll figure it out too. Well, yeah. 11 by 17, B, A3, B4, and A4 tray. Uh, you know, paper can go in it. We'll get that set up too. And it's like a little key on the inside of here that you gotta take out. You twist it, and it'll come out. I used to keep the box and the crate and all of it just in case. Trying to figure out how to get this. Yeah, it does come with one, one of those in it. That's where your waste ink goes. All right. Um, give me just a minute. While he's figuring that out, we do have the sublimation starter boxes on the website. The RC print and supplies.com will link that below. Uh, in the starter box, we have a polyester t shirt, a tall can koozie, a short can koozie, a silky pillowcase, a square mouse pad, one um, 120 piece puzzle, one license plate, uh, one MDF luggage tag, uh, two MDF square coasters, and one 400 milliliter white sports water bottle. And we have a bonus of the pack of paper. It will be the sample pack that's included with this sublimation starter box. This is a hundred sheet sublimation paper, eight and a half by 11. This is available now on our website and we'll link, have a link in the description below. All right. Got that. Yeah. Um here's your roll that you put the um the the paper on.
There we go. And then we have this. This tray goes in like this. That way you can feed the paper in. Just like this. If you're not using it, you can just leave it down. Table and we'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, we have it set up on the table. And uh, this tray here is like it's an output tray, so when you get the your um, sheets. sheets, it'll feed right out. And uh, when you on this side. You have to take this little piece out that was in here. So, and it has a, um, like a, I guess, an LED display is what it's called right here. So, um, what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and load the ink in and right quick. It has an um, automatic head cleaning, so you don't have to worry about the head being getting clogged up. Because on the um, old 7720, and I think the 7710, all the old ones that... That aren't sublimation printers, they're yeah, just yeah, inkjet printers. Um, they have issues with getting clogged with the sublimation ink, because it's not made for sublimation ink. You have to convert it, where this one is it's made for... Um, sublimation. So, um, we also have a twenty-seven sixty. We had that one before we got this because we we went through so many printers over the years. I, I know every bit of um. I don't know. I got a bag. I got a bag of ink down there. This uh, you know, you get a new set of ink with every printer. So, I know it's probably at least twenty printers over the years, if not more than that. But, um. That's the deal on that, but this is the key from spending a whole lot of money. You spend the money one time and you just good to go. Um, we got the black ink right here. And uh it's made for it to fit in there a certain way anyway, so um that's the deal on that. Alright, we're gonna go. It even has the numbers right here, everything match up right there, so let's see. I guess I'm not doing it right. Yeah, you better hear it go in there. You can also see it down at the bottom on the tank. The black filling up. I'll go ahead. I can put another one on this side. It's the, uh, I'm going to do the blue. You know, it had a screw on bottom. So it's about halfway on the black, looks like. These bottles are, what size are these bottles? 140 milliliters. 140 milliliters. So as you see, the black is filling up. So it looks like one bottle will fill up the whole tank. It's 
so that that's good and it comes with two of those um, two of each color so it's a pretty good uh, deal on for a sublimation printer that you get two inks two maintenance box um, paper you get three rolls of paper and the printer so So the black looks like it is almost up to the top of the line. It's a hard bottle, so you can't squeeze it. As well as the blue. So it looks like it fills up pretty fast, the ink. It doesn't take a long time to refill the ink. It's like a little bit left. Well, we ain't gonna worry about that. We're gonna go ahead and just take it out. We can save that little bit for later. Um, what we got here? Looks like the blue is the same. Yeah, got a little bit left. All right, uh, we're gonna go with the yellow. Got the matching numbers just like on the tab here. So we're gonna. Well, I guess it's going. Um, Is it going? I can't hear it. Yeah, it's going. Um, let me see. Okay, I see it. We all remember the method of using these little things right here, putting the ink in them, putting it in the cartridge. Um, it's definitely time to upgrade and get something like this if you can. It's very time consuming. Yeah, yeah. Doing this other deal it is. And um, then the head's always clogged. Then you need another printer. Then the, by the time you buy a whole bunch of them printers, you've been done, you be done paid for one of these. So um, I don't know if you have the clientele for it or not, but you can definitely do a lot with it. So. Of course, the tank printers... Are much better uh, the inkjet tank printers are much better like the ET 2720 2760 uh, but those are small uh, prints and then you have the 15,000 or 1500 one of those which is the uh, it does the 13 by 19 it's the tank as well um, it's very hard to run uh, to run across those, well, the 15,000, I believe, is hard to run across that printer now since it's such in high demand and everybody's trying to start sublimation printing and even these are on um, back order. So uh, it's very hard to run across any type of printer now. The sawgrass seems to be plentiful, but. The ink, I think, is, um, what I'm I think hunt. probably eighty dollars per color somewhere around there for the sawgrass. So it's a little costly I getting the sawgrass. I think you pay like twenty one dollars per bottle on these. Um, and just to save you money, you get these four extra ones. So it's very it's it's kind of costly starting up to buy the printer. But in the long run, it saves you uh, when you have to purchase more ink or more paper. It saves you in the long run. So I guess it depends on um, how much you print, if you have the customers for it. But I do recommend, um, I always have recommend if it getting the sawgrass if you have to choose um, a sublimation printer because it is actually a sublimation printer versus getting the Epson and converting it and running into issues and um, of head clogging and ink drying up. And I'm not sure how it is in the tanks, but I do know that the, um, the other Epsons 
they do have a habit of clogging up the head's clogging up and Essen will not um warranty yeah the warranty will be out if you use um, sublimation ink and then another thing they um you know you ever had a no everybody got had this issue you have a job and then um when it's time to print, then you come to find out that your head's clogged and now you can't get the job. Or you you taking the payment, now you gotta get the money back. Yeah, that that's yeah, that's, that, that's that's bad for you know, Business you have stuff. to order prints from someone and that kinda cuts into your profit and so it's just better starting off for you to get a sublimation printer if that's in your budget. But I know a lot of times it's not in people's budget to go out and spend six hundred. I think the sawgrass is six hundred just for the smallest one. So it may be better for you to go and spend two to three hundred dollars on a per, on an Epson and then convert just starting out. But do know down the lo, down the line that you, it, you may run into issues with head clogging, even with the tanks. I mean, um, we have one now. Um, the 2720, but 2760. 2760. But down the line, it, it made a clog or something like that. I don't know. And then when you have a warranty that you purchase from a store, if you go in there and tell them that you put sublimation ink in the Epson printer, there's not a, a sublimation printer, they won't warranty, warranty your printer. So that means you'll be done wasted your money on your one, so. Yeah, we don't recommend doing that. If you're going to buy the Epson from the store, um, we first, we recommend you buying it from Best Buy because they have the better warranty. Um, I've heard about other people's warranty like Staples. Uh, they, if you buy a printer from them, they don't give it back to you. They pretty much, um, you have to send it into Epson. So they don't. You can't go in the store and swap it out. They give you a hard time with the warranty. Well, it's Best Buy. You can just go swap your printer out and get another printer. And so, it, and you, like he said, you don't want to go in there saying that you're using the printer for sublimation. Just buy the printer and get the warranty. And just you know, if you have any problems as far as Best Buy, just you can just go in there and just check it back in there, and then you're done. It's an easy process, but. It's, you, it, it's, you gotta pay extra for it, but like I say, um, it's still ink in these bottles, so so you still got that. And, and, uh, and it's filled up. The tank is filled up. So what we gotta do? Um, we gotta do something else right quick, and we're gonna um, we're gonna get this set up. Give us just a minute, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. We got the ink put in. Um, everything ready to go. So we're gonna do the set up initial turn it on, rev. It's just like the setup on the regular printer, I think. Yeah. What does it say? Thank you for your purchase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do we have the date format? Yeah. Yeah. I bet you. I bet you. Thank you. I bet you, <laughs> I bet you do appreciate it. <laughs> I bet you do appreciate it. I appreciate it too. <laughs> yeah. Like the regular. What you preparing? This looks like the regular 7720 set up to me. Well, we're gonna find out. No, I don't think it is. Hey man, hey man, you know what? Yeah, I think you know it has so much tape on it. Or whatever you call it. Probably too late to look now, ain't it? But we're going to make sure everything looks like it's pretty smooth. Real quiet. Oh, okay, it's my just bad. Just close the front cover. It's just the usual. Y'all know how it is on the... When filling the... Oh. What? Yeah, let me read it. I mean, that's... So they, they can they see it. Keep, they don't have to because they're going to keep it closed. I no, mean, the, the I one mean, it said before, it said when filling the something. Go back. 
Oh, okay. 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 I already missed. When filling the ink, make sure not to squeeze the ink bottle. Ink may splash. Make sure to match the color of the ink bottle and the ink tank. Ink may remain in the bottle. You can use the ink later. Um, repeated ink filling oh, over two, two thirds. thirds of the ink tank could damage the printer. Okay. Keep the ink in it. Long story short, right there. All right. Make sure. I mean, He's not gonna let me read it, guys. My bad. So. I mean, you know, y'all already know. <laughs> y'all been doing this a while. This ain't y'all first time getting okay, the print. Okay, now it's initializing. So what it's saying? We got seventy-four minutes. <laughs> when you gonna keep y'all online for seventy-four minutes? <laughs> seventy-four minutes. I can stop this. I can run and go do something. So y'all just. Um, it says seventy-four minutes. Yeah, seventy-four minutes right there. Oh, okay. So, well, uh, we'll let yeah. it do the initializing. We're gonna see y'all standing for a minute later. See y'all in a little while. A little longer than a few minutes later. Got this thing going. Got to print over Wi Fi. When it print out, it finishes the print out. It'll cut the paper on its own so you don't have to um, use the scissors or nothing like that. So you just pull it off. And that's the print that we got right there. It looks like the paper is a little bit wet. I'm not sure, but um, I'll get it worked out. This is my first time running it or whatnot, but this is the print. Of course, you can make it the size you need it. And uh, I'm going to give this a try in just a few and see how my colors came out. They do like they did pretty good, but I'm, I'm going to try it. And, um, yeah, uh, please like and subscribe. Um, try to pick you up one of these. If it, um, if it fits in your budget to do it and you got the clients to do it, or maybe you can just get the clients. But um, the Epson SC F570, be sure to pick you one up if you can. Um, any questions, anything like that, leave down below. Appreciate y'all watching. See y'all next time.